In this lesson, I want to talk about how to manage your files in a project while staying inside of brackets. To do this, I'm going to open up the starting code for the mini project I'll be working on in this course. You certainly don't need to work along with me, and you can just open any project folder of your own to see how things work. I just want to open something that has a few more files than the Getting Started Project folder. If you want to download the code, there's a link attached to the lesson that you can use. This starting code is basically just a download of the HTML5 boilerplate with a few changes. I have the non-minified version of jQuery included and also some images that we'll use for the project. I've shown previously that you can see a full listing of all the files and folders in your project in the sidebar. You can also open and close these folders by clicking on the triangle. If you right click on a file, you can see some things that you can do to the file. You can delete it, rename it, or show it in Finder or Explorer. One thing you can't do is duplicate a file, so that's one reason why you might want to show it in the Finder or Explorer. You can also create a new file or new folder. When you create a new file or folder this way, it will get placed where you right-clicked. So if you right-clicked on or in a subfolder, the new file or folder will get placed there. You can also rename files by hitting F2. This will rename whatever file is currently active. Or you can click on the Active Files file name to get the rename box. I'm going to delete the doc folder because we really don't need it for our project. I am asked to confirm deletion. Notice that you're not asked to confirm deletion for a single file, so you will want to make sure you really want to delete before you choose that option. I'm not going to talk about the Find In or Replace In options now because I'll talk about both of these functions when I talk about Find and Replace. I'm not sure this Refresh File Tree option is really needed anymore. If you add files to your project outside of brackets, it will pick up the changes immediately. In the past, you used to need to refresh, but I haven't needed to do that for a while now. I'll go ahead and show a file in Finder, then make a copy of it. When we go to Brackets, you can see it in the sidebar right away. I'll delete it. One of my favorite things about Brackets is the Image Preview. If we look at the image directory, we can click on the images and get a real preview of each image. It's so nice to be able to see the image without needing to go outside of the editor. Not only do we get a preview, but we get the dimensions and also a crosshair cursor so we can get measurements on something like this sprite image. So the sidebar is a great way to manage the files in your project while you stay in the editor. You don't need to go to Finder or Explorer to look at the big picture of your project and explore it in more detail. And if you do need to go there, it's easy to access from this menu. In the next lesson, I'm going to talk about my favorite shortcut, Quick Open.